Responsive search ads are one of the newest ad variants within Google Ads that can help you increase your click-through rates and generate more clients and sales through your campaigns. And it's useful to have a template in order to quickly create and import your ads into your Google Ads account. So I'm going to share with you my template and give you access to that template within this video. So keep watching. Okay, so on my screen here is the template that I use to build responsive search ads. In order to gain access to this, you can click the link below if you're viewing this video within an article. Um, otherwise, if you're viewing this video on YouTube, the link to this builder will be within the description of this video. Now, once you open up the link, you'll be able to make a copy of this sheet and edit this. Um, and in order to do that, you need to log into your um, Google account and select File, then select Make a Copy, and you can then save a copy of this sheet to your Google Drive and begin editing it. Um, now, to, to go through each of the columns on this sheet, firstly, there's an approval column, which is useful for your staff or for a client who wants to review each of the ads that you create and either approve the ad or request a change to the ad copy. Um, now on each line, a separate ad will go. So for each row, um, there'll be a separate ad that you can create. And for each ad, you can indicate the campaign name um, that you'd like the um, ad to go into and the ad group that you'd like the cat the ad to go into um, now moving on to the more interesting stuff the headlines um, for each headline things work a bit differently with responsive search ads than they do with expanded text ads so with responsive search ads you can indicate which position you would like the headline to go in, whether it's position one, two, or three, or if you select nothing, then the Google algorithm will have the option of placing that headline within any of the positions. So this effectively allows you to pin, for example, if you have a headline here, you can pin that to headline one, if you think that's where it makes most sense for it to be, or you can pin it, pin it in headline two and so on. Now, what's interesting with responsive search ads is that you can set up up to you, up to 12 headlines. Um, now, only three of those headlines can show within any particular ad that appears within the search engine, but you can create 12 headlines and the algorithm will test them to, together in different combinations to see which combination gets the best performance in terms of best, best click-through rates or the best conversion rates. So you can enter here multiple different ads, um, sorry, multiple different headlines as well. And for each headline, there's a maximum of 30 characters, which is indicated in the column to the right of each headline. And the counter will indicate how many characters you've used, um, including spaces, and will indicate if you've gone over the 30 character limit. Now, although you can create 12 headlines, um, personally, I don't create 12 headlines for every single ad because then you're kind of diluting the testing process by having too many variables. So I would recommend maybe using four headlines or six headlines or maybe eight headlines. Um, so if you want to create additional headlines within this template, that's easy to do just by se selecting here, insert, and you can insert um, three additional columns. And then you can copy and then paste it. And what that'll do is create another headline and you just change that to headline five and then headline five position and you're all done. So you can create up to 12 headlines using that method. 
Um, now, moving on to the descriptions. The descriptions work in a similar way to the headlines. You can select the description position. Two possible uh, descriptions can show within any ad. So you'll have either a description one you can pin it to or a description two. And descriptions are allowed up to 90 characters. So you get a lot more um, possible characters you can add compared to the headlines. Um, and that's very, very simple to add in here. Um, and then you can, add, just like with the expanded text ads, you can add the path and you can also add a final URL, which you'll require for each ad. Um, so once you've done that, you can create um, as many ads as you need and assign which ad group and which campaign they're going to go in. And then you can quickly go ahead and import. Um, you can do a bulk import of as many ads um, as you've created um, just by highlighting the top row and all of the ads you've created. Copy that then you can bulk add them using um, Google Ads Editor. So once you've selected, um, opened up the account, you can then select responsive search ads, which are the ads that we're adding, click make multiple changes, select my data includes columns for campaigns and ad groups, and then paste all the data in here, and um, it will automatically um, assign the column headings, campaign ad group, um, and you've got your positions, etc. Uh, don't worry about the character account. That won't be imported. It won't recognize that, so it won't import it. And then you just click process and that'll add your ads into your campaigns and then you can review them and post them. So it's a very straightforward and simple process. So I hope you found that video useful. If so, please give the video a like. I'd really appreciate it. If you'd like any additional advice or tips on managing your marketing campaigns, then please subscribe to my channel for additional videos. And thank you for watching.